unfortunately, it, it's quite hard because as coaches, yeah. we we want to be involved with clubs, we want to be involved with teams. <laughs> But it comes, it gets to the point that if you want to kind of start your own thing and do do it full time, you kind of have to say, not not goodbye to team training, but maybe cut it, cut down on it, yeah, because it does take a lot of time up. Um, for me personally, when I was at the stage where I I, I kind of just got fed up with it, was. Yeah. Well, pretty much my, the, the reason why I did it was because it, there's too much politics and um, you kind of have to follow a club's kind of philosophy, which didn't really align with, with with the way I wanted to develop players. Same. So for me personally, it was a no brainer. I wanted to just step away and start start from scratch. Um, and yeah, I missed it at the beginning, you know, that the adrenaline of, of game day, but I was a lot happier. Um, so that's pretty much, you know, the decision you you have to make because from what, what I read from your email and from what you're telling me now, you know, for you, it's more, more just a, a time constraint. Yeah. Um, I found so, it tough to kind of get it off the ground and yeah. Um, and starting, starting a business does take time. And, you know, you you do need a commitment to it in order to create that time. So, you know, the first step for you would be, you know, making that hard choice. What what, what do I do with my with my team teams? Do I cut down on one team? Do I cut down on all of them and go full in on this? You know, that and that's something personal and that's something that you obviously have to have to, you know, think about. I, uh... Thank you.